In today's travel video, we're going to compare two deluxe Disney resorts. First, we're going to take a look at the Grand Floridian Resort, and then next, we're going to take a look at the Polynesian Resort, and maybe help you guys decide which one is better for you. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the Grand Floridian Resort. Okay, here we are at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Walt Disney World. This is the Bellhop Boys over here on the right. This is where people are coming in and loading up luggage. They will deliver your packages to your room or all your luggage to your room if you arrive early before check-in. As you can see up here on the top left, they are doing some work because they're adding on to the Grand Floridian. This is one of the deluxe resorts. So you got value, you got moderate, and then this is deluxe. I'm gonna show you guys the lobby because this is a beautiful resort. Take a look. Over to the right hand side is where you can see the registration people. Over to the left hand side there's a piano for somebody who plays. They have fresh flowers here all the time. Look at that beautiful bouquet. Plenty of seating here in the lobby. And they just remodeled a lot of this and I think replaced this carpet. They did that last year. Right there is a elevator that you can see. But look at look at the ceiling on this. Very elegant and beautiful. We'll come over here to the left. This gives you a little look at the whole layout of this big resort. So we're here in the main first building and then these are all the other different places where you can stay. Villas here, this is the parking lot. <clears throat> so they do have dining here, Grand Floridian Cafe, the Gas Barilla. Island Grill, Afternoon Tea and Garden Tea Room. Signature Dining, the more expensive dining, Victoria and Alberts. And then these two here. Character Dining, for those of you guys who want to meet some characters, this just opened back up, 1900 Park Fair. Uh, that's why we're here, we're gonna get ready to eat at uh, 1900 Park Fair. They also have My Disney Girls Perfectly Princess Tea Party. We can have a tea party and Disney princesses will visit you. Take a look at the advertising they had going on for the Disney Wish cruise line. You can get a pressed penny here, Grand Floridian theme. These are some of the characters that they have available. One dollar each or all eight for five dollars. <coughs> All right. Look at these. Look at the tile, the pillars, and so fresh and pristine, clean white. I know at Christmas time, there's a humongous tree that they put here at Easter. They put, um, they decorate for pretty much every holiday. Um, and I remember at Christmas time, they had like a gingerbread house that they put right here in this section. Let me show you what it looks like from this direction. That almost looks like a bird cage. Giant bird cage. Here on the bottom floor, there is a gifts and sun dries. Sandy Cove is the name of this gift shop. This is where you can get some drinks and snack items, some of your or necessities. So home decor, this is the, the smallest gift shop of them all. There's another one on the second floor that I'll take you guys to. Some more resort mugs pins <clears throat> all right we'll go over this 
way. So right here is the garden lounge, which is closed right now, but it is a place where you could hang out, sit, have like meetings. If you're here for business. Here's another store where you can pick up clothing and they got like bathrobes and specialty clothing like like swimsuits maybe some button-up shirts that's the name of that one walk a little further and they have like a grand staircase so if you wanted to ride that elevator where you can see out of it you'd take that here's the beautiful grand staircase but before we look at that take a look at that painting okay we'll go on upstairs now on the second floor this is where you can access the monorail uh, there are a few more gift shops on the second floor and views of the lobby they play Disney music everywhere right here's a photo pass option usually there's a photographer there who will take your picture with that background and then you scan your band and they'll be on the photo pass here's a view of the lobby from the second floor And then there's a third, fourth, and fifth floor. So this is a big structure. I wanna show you guys this area over here. It's another like lounge area that sells food and you can get alcoholic beverages. And it's one of the more nicer ones. It's called the Enchanted Rose. Take a look at this. So it's closed right now. They open up afternoon evenings. Look at that chandelier. Right here's the bar section. Enchanted Rose logo. There is some seating out here that also belongs to the Enchanted Rose. But look at, look at the views here. Over off in the distance a little bit, there's a picture of the Cinderella's castle. It's absolutely stunning. Even the ceilings have lights on them. Sitting here you have views of Bay Lake and Magic Kingdom is off into the distance. So this is the Enchanted Rose. Okay, we're gonna take a walk over this way. Here's some bath salts, so you can pamper yourself with. They got juicy watermelon, basin white, bombshell, all kinds. This is a large bath bomb, three for $20. Hello. <laughs> you can make your own candle here, two candles for $35. and bath salts. All right, moving on. Another view from this direction. Look at that. One of the best lobbies here at Walt Disney World Resorts. All right, here's the M Mouse Mercantile. Let's see what they have available here. <clears throat> Everybody loves it. All kinds of pins, if you're a pin collector. One of the things I try to do is get a pin for every resort that I stay at. All right, let's go this way. Okay, and that's a, a look at the M Mouse Mercantile here at the Grand Floridian. I'm gonna take you guys outside 
and show you where you get on and off the monorail. So the monorail runs from 6.30 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. because the Magic Kingdom is one of those parks that stays open pretty late. And the monorail is <coughs> one of my favorite ways to travel Disney transportation. I'm just filming. Alright. Well, this is where you would get on and off of the monorail. They're not letting me go up ahead there, but you, it comes this way. It travels there. Here's one coming off into the distance there. Okay, I kind of just got kicked out of the monorail area because of security reasons. They don't want anybody filming the monorails there, so all I got was what you saw. Um, back to the lobby area. This is what we got. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Okay, we're back on the lower level now. And right here is 1900 Park Fair. That's where we're gonna be dining at, but I wanna show you guys the outside. Pretty loud in here. All right, take a look at the landscaping here. Beautiful, Grand Floridian does an amazing job with their landscaping. All these red flowers. Every day they're out here working on landscaping at every Disney Resort, making sure everything is pristine and clean. I'll show you guys the pool area because if you do stay here more likely you're gonna visit the pool the buildings the exterior portion of this resort is look at how super clean white it is the reason being they're always painting at every resort they're constantly painting keeping things looking fresh and clean Never do you ever see like mildew or anything on the buildings. Look at these pretty flowers here. Don't forget to bring a coin, make a wish, throw it in the fountain. Alright, here's a Grand Floridian pool. A large pool. And it's shaped like so. They do give you towels. You don't have to bring your own towels. They offer towels here. And it looks like it's got three foot sections. There's a z like a zero foot section. Um, that's where you play with like your babies. And then there's a four foot section off to here, off to the side here in the front. Four foot. Right. I'm going to take you over here to this side. So you guys can see Bay Lake Tower. Now of all the Disney resorts, I believe this one's the most expensive to stay at. The prices fluctuate. Make sure to try to grab a deal if you can whenever they are running deals. All right, this is the layout. This is where we're at. There's one, two, three, four different pools here. And then that's a look at Bay Lake. Okay, our table is now ready and we're going to head in there to eat at 1900 Park Fair. There it is, 1900 Park Fair. So we're here for breakfast time, but take a look at how they decorate in here with some of the vintage animated films and painting style at the very top. Beautiful looking place. Okay, upon sitting down, they give you this wish card that you can take and 
put your wishes on. These are the, all the characters that you get to meet here since this is character dining. Cinderella, Aladdin, Maribel, and Princess Tiana. But you write your wish on here and you give it to your wish maker. They got a croissant breakfast pizza, uh, potatoes, potato barrels. <laughs> Hello. All right, you got all of your regular fruits here. Watermelon, they got granola and yogurt. Fresh strawberries. Here they got cream cheese and smoked salmon. Sliced tomatoes there with onions, red onions. There's cheesy potato casserole. This is the classic eggs benedict. Beef and potato hash. Here's cheese grits. Uh, this is where you get some freshly cut ham. Carved ham. They'll cut it for you right there. Over here on this side you got cheese danishes, croissants, grape jellies. Regular toast. All right, there's the famous Mickey waffles. Everybody loves those. You got pancakes. All right, here you got some bread pudding. This, uh, our waitress said that that's it. Tiana's famous bread pudding. You got cinnamon pull apart bread there. Vanilla cream. Sausage, gravy, and biscuits right here. Look at that. Looks yummy. All right, over here you got bacon and sausage. All right, here's some oatmeal if you want that. Oh, those biscuits look nice and fluffy. You got scrambled eggs, omelet selections, cheesy scrambled eggs, spiced tofu, and chicken sausage. All right, and one last stop over here. We got some fresh fruit. Donut holes, double chocolate muffin bread, and gummy bears. I never really thought gummy bears would be here. And then strawberry, the Grand Floridian strawberry soup is kind of iconic. So that's what they had offering. And then the characters will be coming around to greet you as you eat. Okay, this is what I ended up deciding on. I got some cheesy potatoes, biscuits and gravy, cheesy hash browns, bacon, and sausage, and one croissant. All right, there is the monorail. Today we're going to show you guys a tour of the Polynesian Resort. Right now, this is the drop-off area with the bell cart boys uh, who help get your luggage out, put it on a cart, and take it to your resort room. But wonderful thing about the Polynesian Resort is it does have access to that monorail right there that does take you to Magic Kingdom. So walk with me. I'm going to show you guys what this resort looks like. Another great resource with the Polynesians, they do have boat transportation to the Magic Kingdom along with that monorail. Very tropical feel here with the Hawaiian theme. Hey y'all, I want you to make out. <laughs> There's some happy people on vacation. Look at this tropical falls on both sides. It's kind of an iconic picture taking place is on this spot here with this bridge and these falls in the background. Very cool. 
All right, this is the lobby area. And it is very cool in here, air conditioned. Over to the left hand side is a gift shop, a good size gift shop. Over to the right hand side, you'll see guest services. This is where you get checked in at. Disney has done a very good job with doing the check-in on a mobile, so that way you don't even have to go to the desk. Here is the iconic statue here at the Polynesian where everybody gets their picture taken right here. And this is a look at this two-story lobby area. Decorated very Polynesian-like. And the Disney characters that they do highlight here are Moana and Lilo and Stitch. Look at those chairs, they got those high backs. Little seating area there where you can watch movies. Let's go ahead and take a little walk here inside the gift shop. All kinds of coffee mugs. Also, one of the things is they have pin trading here. All your gift shop areas usually have pin trading. Swim gear in case you forget something whenever you're packing. Of course, your famous magic bands. Lots of Hawaiian tropical type decor and dressing so you can get a Hawaiian shirt and this is it this is a uh, one of two different gift shops that are here at the Polynesian a lot of these resorts only have one gift shop the Polynesian has two if you look up there toward the top on the second level it says Moana Merchantile and that's another gift shop up there Okay, going over here, Holiday Inn Club Vacations. Lots of places to sit in this lobby. Over here they do those character drawings from like five to 10. And let me just show you what the cost is on them because they are kind of higher cost. Right there. You can hit pause and take a look at that if you'd like. Alright, let's go ahead and go out the back door area. As soon as you step off to the back area over here to the left, they have the Pineapple Lanai. That's where you can get your famous Disney Dole Whips. Um, not quite open yet. It's not they open up at 10 a.m. and they're, they close at 10 p.m. So right now it's just before nine. Look at that beautiful palm tree there. Very tropical here. Sometimes they'll have those photo pass people out here taking pictures in this grassy area, fake grass area. Over here to the left hand side of me is one of the walk up places where you can eat Trader Sam's I believe is the name of it now up above on the second story behind that glass is Disney's pretty much most popular restaurant in all the resorts it's called Ohana it's very hard to get into but the food there is delicious this is a look at one of the pools that they have here there's two pools here at the Polynesian this is probably the, the, the one that is most populated. It gets pretty busy with kids, probably because of this kid area here. It's got that big old rock mountain back there. And then the other pool is a little, a little quiet, a little more quieter. All right, let's take a walk this way here. 
I've noticed that a lot of these Disney resorts, that's what they do is they have two pools and one of them will be more of like an adult pool with less kids. So it's quiet and then they have one that's more kid friendly and they'll put activities in there like slides and stuff for the kids to swim and do. Now, one thing I have noticed about this resort is it's pretty sprawling to get from one end to the other. It's a good walk. Here's the other pool. So it's not too, they're not too far from each other. And this pool opens up. So this is the, the more adult, quiet pool, but it opens up at 7 a.m. closes at 11 the other one opens up at 10 so they have different hours on their pools you have to have a magic band here uh, to get in and unlock the gate but this is what that pool looks like they do offer pool towels here for you which is a nice little perk because some resorts that are not Disney you got to pay for towels sometimes and from what I I've seen they keep Disney keeps their towels stocked pretty well. Never run out. They're always doing landscaping around here. One of the cool things that you do see when you're here in Florida is some of the different types of birds and lizards and they maybe you wouldn't see if you're not from this area let's take a look at this map here so that way you can see just how sprawling this place is and some of the names of this place you can go ahead and hit pause there if you'd like to take a better look at that Now here on property, they do have two different types of options for lodging. You can do the hotel stay where you'd book right through the website, or you can do the DVC club memberships. If you buy into that program or you're able to get access through points or something, the DVC club rooms are bigger. But this is one of the more expensive resorts of all the Disney resorts that they have. And I think it's mainly because of that convenience to being a Magic Kingdom. It's right there because if anybody has been to Magic Kingdom, you know that it is a long walk from the time that you park your car and get to the entrance to the theme park if you stay here on property <laughs> it um, is not as long it takes a monorail it takes you not right up to the gates but close to the entrance there's another beautiful palm tree Alright, I'm going to take you guys toward the back so that way you can see a beautiful part of this resort. <laughs> she had the same idea I did, filming the resort area. Now I did a room tour video to the place that I'm staying at, so be sure to check my channel for that room tour video. I'm staying at one of the DVC club rooms and it's spacious and has refrigerator, microwave, two showers in it, which was surprising. All right. Out back here, 
is the bungalows. And these are also DVC club lodging. And they are very expensive, but it's almost like you're getting your own house or apartment of sorts. And it's right on the water. As you can hear that boat in the background there, that's the big boat that picks up a lot of the people and transports them from the Magic Kingdom parking lot to the entrance of the park. Like I said, it's a long commute to get from there to there. We'll keep walking over here. I'll show you how you can see the castle nearby. There's a little duck. There's white sand here. You can't get into the water. Um, they do have signs posted to beware of alligators and snakes. Though you can't even get to these bungalows unless you have a magic band to walk up to the door. But um, you can walk out here in a sandy, beachy area. But you can't get in the water. Disney tries to protect their patrons here because it wasn't just a few years ago that a kid was killed by an alligator at the Polynesian. No, not Polynesian. Uh, the one right next to Polynesian, the real fancy Grand Floridian Resort. If you're a walker, this is a great place to walk and get some exercise in the morning. If you're a runner, almost all resorts have like a running path for runners. And this is part of it. Like I said, the Grand Floridian is off in the distance there. You might not be able to see it too well, but it's right next to the Polynesian. And if you look off there into the distance, those cranes they're adding on to the Polynesian this resort is one of the more popular stays so that they're they have that high demand so they're adding on to it right now it's all concrete blocked walls Right over there. Probably next time I come around this area, it'll probably be done. The weather is beautiful right now. A little bit of a breeze coming through. I'm always doing landscaping through here. I heard a statistic yesterday about the landscaping with Disney that it costs Disney one million dollars a day to manage their landscaping all year round at all their parks one million dollars a day and that counts as pay for the staff shrubs you know getting new flowers maintaining yeah they take pride in their landscaping volleyball pit area in case you're in the volleyball or you're here also here at the grand floridian they do have uh, gas grills and they supply all the gas and everything so that way if you want to just stay here maybe cut back on some of the costs of food which you know disney food is expensive You can um, use the, utilize the grills. That's pretty plant. All right, over here is one of the hidden spots. That's like a secret spot, as you can tell. 
it's got all the white sand here and you can sit down here and get a really good view of the Grand Floridian and that boat that's coming in here that's one of the boats that'll transport you to the Magic Kingdom also while you're sitting here off into the distance over to the right hand side you can see Cinderella's castle over there so if you are here at the Grand Floridian you can see all the Disney fireworks at nighttime from anywhere along this back spot here but this is a this is probably the best spot right here because they do supply chairs that you can sit down right here and be near the water you see the monorail off in the distance you see one of the boats it's a just a pretty spot and right now is a beautiful time of day to sit here because it's a little bit cooler when it gets in the hot sun there isn't a whole lot of shade here all right let's continue walking They're always piping in music throughout the resort, that Hawaiian type music. This is the back side of the first pool that I showed you guys. Hours of the pool are 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. They keep it clean. Disney takes pride in keeping their areas clean. And I like that. People getting ready to go on the boat to go to the Magic Kingdom. The monorail here will take you from Polynesian. It'll take you over to the Grand Floridian and then over to the Magic Kingdom. If you stay on the monorail, it'll then take you over to Contemporary Resort. So those are the three resorts that the monorail transportation takes you to. Is Polynesian, Grand Floridian, and the Contemporary. And also with all three of those, if you don't want to take the monorail, you can take a boat. And also if you don't want to take a boat, you can take a bus. So those are three different options of transportation services at these more higher priced resorts. Again, up there at that top level is Ohana. And if you get seated in the right spots, you can get seated right alongside the window there and watch the fireworks from there if you're doing an evening dinner. If you're doing a daytime dinner, they have Stitch. It's like a character dining there. So Stitch will walk around and take pictures with you if you do breakfast. Here's another entrance to the pool area. Now they have these boats here. I'm not quite sure what they do with these boats. I don't know if you're able to rent them. They, Disney does have boats on property somewhere where you're able to rent. But I'm not sure if those are one of them. Alright, we're going to come over here and go through these doors on the left. Here's another map in case you want to hit pause and take a look at this. Shows all the different areas. Over here, if you are a runner... This is the running trail that they have. They have a designated running trail. All right, up here, we're gonna go to Captain Cook's. I think this leads to Captain Cook's. I'll show you guys the menu, see what they have to offer.
Okay, so this is kind of a more of a quick serve Captain Cook's area. They have breakfast platters, Mickey shaped waffles, flatbread. sure what time breakfast ends but it's still breakfast hours here all right now we're back out here to the grassy or well, fake grass area now I only showed you a portion of where the lodging is but it does give you a feel of what it looks like. I'm going to take you guys up to the second story so you can see that second gift shop. Alright, to get up to the second story, you can either take an elevator or the stairs. We're going to go ahead and take the stairs a little bit faster. Here's a check-in area for Ohana. <coughs> you check in here and then Ohana is off over there into the back corner. Here is the Moana Merchantile. So there's some drinks here that you can get. Candies, bread, chips, candy. Maybe some uh, other items like band-aids or aspirin if you need that. And then if you come in here, this is the second gift shop. This one isn't quite as big as the first gift shop. And I noticed that this one has more kid-friendly merchandise. Disney celebrating its 100 year birthday for Disneyland and then here at Disney World they have some of that type of merchandise All right. over here is a walk up Kona Cafe Island so you can do a walk up here and get like some pastries or drinks over to the right hand side is the actual restaurant for the Kona Cafe. And then this is another look at the lobby from a different perspective. Okay, now behind me here, this is the entrance to the monorail. They do make you walk through metal detectors and they check you out before you get onto the monorail. If you have a bag, they gotta check it usually. But this is where you would go to get onto the monorail. One thing I noticed is if you have a camera, you might wanna take it out of your bag before you walk through there. They always check me whenever I'm taking my GoPro. All right, we'll take a walk over here. Kona Cafe is usually a little easier to get into as far as dining goes. Ohana, like I said at the beginning, is really hard to get into. It's one of those things is you gotta wake up three months before the date that you're going to arrive at 6 a.m. to try and reserve this place and you gotta you got to be quick on the draw there to try to get reservations to that. But if you are lucky enough to get a reservation to Ohana, it's got some of the best food. 
it's the most sought after restaurant of all the Disney's there is one other restaurant that beats Ohana as far as patrons and that's be our guest but that's be only because be our guest is so much larger in scale and has more tables all right we're back down to the lobby area where we started if you made it this far into the video i appreciate it hopefully this was helpful and giving you a glimpse of what the polynesian is like and what to expect but if you like this video click a thumbs up on it go ahead and subscribe to my channel i make videos all the time we'll go ahead and end it with the famous polynesian statue right here all right